Yeah, much better. See, oh, look at that hip. Look at that hip. Look at that hip. Oops. 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 Okay. Ah, no hit. Oops, I came up. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, nice one. It's Coach Joseph again. Many people ask me, is it hard to learn the butterfly stroke? My answer to you is yes and no. Yes, it's difficult if you haven't learned the other three strokes. That is the freestyle, breaststroke and, free, uh, and backstroke. If you find the three strokes are hard to learn, then learning butterfly will be even harder because it requires a lot of uh, undulation of your body and also the overarms swing, okay, which requires a lot of upper body strength. My advice to you, if you want to learn butterfly, at least try to learn the three other strokes first. But if you really like the stroke, um, you like the uh, butterfly undulation and it looks very cool then there is a way to learn it uh, with proper skill progression uh, in this video I'm going to show you how I'm going to teach somebody that I'm very close with to swim butterfly ah uh, it's a very hot day I hope you like my hat oh my god can come out so bright and yes the person that I say I'm very close to is none other than my wife <laughs> there she is and uh, I'm teaching her swimming butterfly today um, would you like to introduce yourself a little bit hi I'm Jamie <laughs> what do you do Jamie I teach swimming <laughs> yes but my butterfly is terrible good that's where so, that's where coach joseph's gonna help me okay <laughs> we'll try as much as i can <coughs> they say never teach an old dog new trick but i'm gonna prove you wrong today yeah. let's do it so we're gonna start with the float so you're just gonna push off the wall and then float with your arms level with your shoulder yeah, you can use a board. Yeah, just push off. No, no, you can just push off. We do. Yes, push off again, but this time without the board. Without a board, so you are in a eleven positions. So that means the arms. The arm like that. Yep. No. Yeah, 11 position. Oh. Good. Try again, but this time your arm, your hands should be closer to the surface with your thumb, with your thumb pointing a bit down. Yeah, like that, like that. That's right. That's good. Very nice. Nice floats. All right. So just with any strokes, the first thing you gotta master is floating. Yeah. So floating on a horizontal plane. If you do not know how to float, your under uh, your lower body will start to fall and that's where you create resistance. And you have to have a stronger strokes to compensate and harder kick to make yourself horizontal again yeah so learn how to float before you move on to the next step next one so next one is underwater pool so yes palm palm pointing down from the front yes that's right and then push all the way to the end with your palm facing up Yes. Again. Ah, that's nice. Okay. So try to lower yourself in the body so that is yeah. So when you pull your elbow up, very good. 
push all the way to the end. Nice one. One more time. Push. Oh, beautiful butterfly. Okay, next. So we're gonna try. Push off the wall and then just do one underwater pull. And then just stop there, right? Let, so but after the one, one underwater pull, you try to float. Okay. After the pull up. Yeah, just let your body... Like Alright, okay. stay like that. Very nice. So next one is basically recovering. What's recovering? Recovering means your arms coming out of the water and pushing back to the starting position. That's recovering. Why do we do recovering? Okay, we have done all the work underwater. So when we have a chance to recover, that's where you, that's where you replenish your energy. Yeah. So that's when you put your arms forward at a very split second and then do again. Push. Recover. Push. Okay. So recover is also a good chance for you to realign your body. Okay. Realign your arms back to the front. 11 position, two arms in front and then pull. Okay. Let's try that. Yes. So the way to do this is do it when with the legs in the water, I mean standing. Do it when while standing. Yeah. And then head in the water and just do push all the way to the back and then recover. Then keep walking, push all the way to the back and recover. Very nice. Push all the way back, recover. When she recovers, her arms going back forward are very straight and very close to the surface palms are pointing down in fact your palms are pointing upwards until you rotate to the front it will automatically come to the position where your thumbs are pointing down okay that's where you start your pull again yeah see continue huh? just do a two, few more Very nice. Yep. So next, we're gonna try push off and then do one underwater pull followed by a recovery. No kicking. Just float. And then recover, yeah. And, and just try just one and then stop. <laughs> Why? Terrible. Is it terrible? It looks I good. Like dragging, right? huh? It looks all right. I feel like my body like like went down. Like yeah, yeah. Time. Because you you don't have the kick kicking oh. yet. Yeah. So when you add the kick, then you should be fine. Okay, let's try continue from here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> let's try... Okay, let's try two now. Going backwards. Back, going back there. So right. after I come up, then mm -hmm. do I have to close? For, yeah. Yes, for just float. Seconds, uh. Maybe for two seconds and then pull again. Ah. Like a lady Michael Phelps. <laughs> okay, shall we just try four? Yeah. Let's try four poop. Yes. Rest. No pressure. Nice. Very good, very good. Not easy, right? 
Okay lah. But not not really moving though. I don't really feel like I'm moving. Hey, what do you mean you don't move? Very smooth. From here to here. You move what? Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. I think she's doing so well. We're gonna add the breeding part to this. So basically, when you poo, as you poo, your chin up. Now, the chin shouldn't leave the water. It should be touching the water surface. And then head down, followed by your arm pushing to the front. Ah. Okay. Okay, one now. Okay, nice. Yay. Okay. Woo, good job. <laughs> one. Two. Three. Very good. Nice one. Learning butterfly, you cannot do without a pair of flippers. Okay. These flippers are very useful. Yeah. It helps you to elevate yourself out of the water, especially for beginners. Don't get the super long one. Uh, th those are for diving. These are for swimming. Snorkeling. Yeah. Yeah, you can use it for snorkeling. <laughs> the cramp. Before you put it in, <laughs> putting on, you'll get a cramp. <laughs> Why do we use uh, flippers? A few reasons. It improves your flexibility of your ankle. Yeah. Uh, so, your ankle is very important in, com in terms of kicking. Wearing flippers and training with them improves your flexibility. Second, it improves the strength of your leg muscle, yeah? From even your, your thigh, your hamstrings. Although kicking comes from the hip, but those part of your, bigger part of your legs are very important. So, wearing flippers make it harder to, uh, to kick, but it will help you when you take it off, you'll fly like a fish. She's wiggling, wiggling, wiggling. There you go, so nice. Nice one. One more round, go back. Riggle, riggle, riggle. Riggle, riggle, riggle. Look at that. She's using a hip. Okay. Yeah. Dolphin kick. This is called dolphin kick. When you when you kick down, your hip should come up, right? And then when your hip go down, you should kick up. Yeah. So when it's always a down kick and an up kick. A lot of people just do a down kick and then they easy on the way up. No. It should be down kick, up kick, down kick, up kick, down kick, up kick. Okay, let's try one more time. Uh, yes, a bit too high. If you can, when you come up, right? Don't come out of the surface too high. Yes. Yeah, much better. See, oh, look at the hip. Look at the hip. Look at the hip. Okay, good, good, good. Yes. Nice. What? It's so bright. It's <laughs> so bright. Okay, good. There you go. Oops. 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 Okay. Very good. Putting with putting your hands behind so that you know you are near the wall. Another type of cake is called a fish cake. Fish cake. So kicking on the side. With one arm in front, the other arm by your side, you are kicking this way, sideways. What? Try. Oh yeah, yeah, so it's facing the side. Yeah. yeah, good job. Right. Oh. Very nice. Wait, why cannot swim straight on? Uh, you can do with the board. Hello, how are you guys doing? Hello, hello. Hello. Kick. Yeah. 
Head above, head above. Work your abs. Work your abs. Nice. Work your core. Work your core. Did I mention that your core is probably the most important part of swimming breaststroke, as swimming butterfly? Because of the undulation that you need is mostly coming from the power of your core. Putting all these together, we have wriggle, wriggle, pull, and wriggle. So kick, kick, pull, kick, 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 pull, kick. Yeah. Okay, let's try without the head coming out the water. Oh, the ah, no head. Oh, I came out. <laughs> <laughs> head don't come out. Very nice. Oh. It's good. Be careful uh, when you're wearing flippers. Not easy to stand. So sometimes because you, it's heavy and then it's pushing the water as you try to stand. So you've got to watch out. That's going back again. Oh. Nice one. Are you tired? Yeah. I'm more tired holding this <laughs> and standing out in the hot sun. <laughs> Must be like 35 degrees. Wriggle, wriggle, pull, head up and then wriggle. Whoa, nice one. Whoa. Okay. Teaching adults and teaching kids, you need to give them a lot of encouragement, a lot of praises, um, you know, so that they will improve. <laughs> they, will, they will like to come to your class more often. Okay, let's do it one more time. Okay, a bit short, you see the, the pool? She's not even reaching to the end. Yeah? Ah, I see the some mistake here. Yes. Coming up, right? No. Okay. Not so much about coming up. Coming up also, not straight. But your pull is not all the way to the yeah. back. Okay. When we practice, we practice our palm facing up the sky, right? Okay. okay. Ah. Very good. Well done. Good job. Ooh, give me five.